a ball of weight 100 newtons which is attached to a string makes an angle of 30 degrees with the wall what is the force developed in a string in the string option a 115 tension, tension. b 115 compression c 200 tension and d 200 comp compression, compression. D, 200, compression. Please pause the video and start working on your own. Okay, Raviraj, start. Again. So, a ball is given, which is attached to a string, like this, and which is resting on a wall. So, this is your wall, as you are framing of your question, and it makes an angle of 30 degrees, with vertical wall. So this angle is 30 degrees and it is attached at center. So this is your ball. And they have asked what is the force which is developed in this string. Okay. So first of all we have to decide it whether it is tensile force or compressive force. So since it is ball, it is having its own weight, it will develop a tension in a string. So tension in a string is shown like this and we have to draw a FBD, free body diagram of this particular ball. Free body diagram is nothing but a diagram which shows forces acting at a point. So we have to draw a forces which are acting at A, A point let's say. So the free body diagram for A will be first will be the weight component which is acting in downward direction. Second will be this tensile force, right, let's say T which makes an angle of since this is 30, this will be 90, this will be 60 degrees. So 30, 60, 90, the uh, addition will be 180. So this makes 60 degrees with horizontal. And the third force which is acting, which is the reaction which is developed at this point. When balls, ball is in contact with wall. So total reaction I will say it is as Ra. So this is now your FBD. We have already finished our time, Raviraj. But uh, if you take so much of time, then you eat up the time for the next question. Yes, sir. And then in an examination, of when you have to solve a question, you have to be a bit fast. Yes, you have to work much faster. Your thinking should be fast. Yes, sir. Okay. I will definitely try, sir. So, so uh, now you have eaten up on the other side of the question. Just, just finish up fast. Okay. So W is equal to 100 Newton, which is given. So W is equal to 100 Newton and uh, your array is like this. So uh, this is now framing uh, of question according to Lemmy's theorem. So this can be solved by Lemmy's law okay. which says force divided by the angle between two other forces. Right? Mm -hmm. And second is equal to, uh, for example, if you have to apply Lemmy's theorem for this particular problem, W divided by sine R. Is since there are only three forces, so it can be applicable by Lemmy's theorem. So angle between these two forces, angle between these two forces is 60 degrees. So sine of 60 degrees is equal to T divided by sine of. If you are taking this force, angle between these two forces is important. So it is 90 equal to. If you are taking third force, which is RA, the angle between these two forces is important. Since this is uh, 60, 60, this will be 30 and this will be 90. So 120 plus 90 will be the 120 plus 90 is 210, I think. Yes. Yeah. 210. So this is your sine rule. And once you uh, uh, write the equations, you can calculate the tension developed in the string since W is given. So W is, I think, 100 Newton. And all the values are known. So you can calculate RA. T. RA we don't know. Uh, don't know and we don't need. The reason okay. is that they have only asked what is the tension developed in a string. Okay. So this part we don't need right now. Mm. So we have to calculate tension developed in a string. So W is known. So cross multiplication will give you the value of T. Which I think sine 90 is equal to. Uh, sine 90 is equal to 1. one. And sine 60 is equal to 0 0.86. When you substitute all the values, the answer comes out to be 115 point something Newton. So I think the 
first option that is 115 newton yes. in tension is the correct answer okay so you had uh, mentioned earlier that tension is the major part yes. so two options are already gone yes sir so uh, option a and option c remains out of option a and c a is the correct option and you have shown all the calculations which are there so sometimes so, uh, we have to go by the elimination process correct. so this time we have gone for elimination process okay. so eliminated two options right right from beginning right? okay that's very nice that you have uh, tried to tell me as to how things are there but uh, remember in examination you have to prepare yes. yourself much earlier and apply directly and instantly get to the result yes sir okay the options are there right in front of you and you can get on option a is the correct answer and it's 115 tension is the correct answer we we'll go to the next question yes sir oh what is the reaction developed on walls at points a and b when a ball of weight 100 newtons is placed between two walls first wall making an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal in clockwise direction in clockwise direction and the second wall making an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal in the anti clockwise direction the options are a 50 newtons and 86.60 newtons b 75 newtons and 150. 150 newtons c 115 newtons and 200 newtons or d none of these please pause the video okay ramiraj start so the angle of two walls you have to be quick because i yes, think sir. so it's a very lengthy yeah. question so when uh, the angle with respect to horizontal is 60 degrees with first wall and second wall is i think making an angle of 30 degrees okay, okay. so this is the ball which is placed in between these two walls and they have asked what is the reaction developed at a or a point this is b point so what is the reaction developed at r at a and what is the reaction developed at b hmm. so that is the framing of question so i have to just draw first the fbd that is p body diagram for this ball hmm. but before that uh, we have to calculate the angles the angle of this forces so if this is 60 this will be 30 and this will be 90 the angle with respect to vertical is i think 60 degrees 60 degrees so uh, the whatever is the angle with respect to horizontal that will be the angle with respect to vertical when it is acting in normal direction and uh, same is the condition you can calculate it the vertical angle comes out to be again 30 degrees so when you draw the fbd of this particular figure at a junction let's say at a center point so it will be first force which is acting in downward direction will be its weight component so weight of this ball is given as so i think so again you have taken on the time okay go ahead go ahead go ahead fast so quick weight uh, weight of the uh, ball is given as 100 newton and the first reaction ra which is acting in this direction line of action of force uh, according to line of action of force it is ra and the second is rb the angle is r the first angle will be the angle with respect to vertical is 60 so angle with respect to horizontal will be 30 the angle with respect to vertical is 30 so angle with respect to horizontal will be 60 and then we have to apply the lemis theorem so lemis theorem according to lemis theorem ra divided by sin of angle between so when you uh, calculate ra the angle between these two forces is important so 90 plus 60 is 150 degrees is equal to w divided by so w divided by sin of angle between these two so 60 plus 30 is 90 total is 180 180 so sin of 90. 90 degrees is equal to rb divided by sin of when you are taking this force the angle between these two is important so 90 plus 30 is 120 degrees so w is known w is nothing but weight component it is 100 newton first of all we have to go for this ratios that 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 will give you the value of ra and then we have to go for this second ratio 
that will give you value as RB. So RA can be calculated as RA multiplied by sine of 90 is equal to 100 multiplied by sine of 150. So when you calculate it, it comes out to be 50. So 50 is RA. 50 Newton is RA. And RB, when you have to calculate RB, uh, 100 multiplied by sine of 120 is equal to uh, RB multiplied by sine of 90 degrees. So, sine of 90 is 1. Yeah, sine of 90 is 1. So, it comes out to be 86.60. So, I think uh, your first option, that is 50 Newton and 86.60, is the correct answer. So, A is the answer for this particular question. So, Raviraj, again, your answer is perfectly right, but you have taken tremendous time. Yes, sir. I think so. We will have to put it much, much faster and get on. Your answer is perfectly right. Option A, 50M and 86.60M. Raviraj, today we have discussed something related to Lemmy's theorem. But Raviraj, I don't understand. You started with parallelogram law, then you did something related to resolution of forces. This is the third one, Lemmy's theorem. theorem. Can you briefly, within two minutes, explain what's Lemmy's theorem? Uh, the Lemmy's theorem is applicable when there are three concurrent forces. Okay. So if there are three concurrent forces, means forces passing through single points. For example, this is the first force F1, this is the second force F2, and this is the third force F3. The angle between them, let's say theta 1, second is theta 2, and third is theta 3. If this is a condition, and if you have to calculate the forces which are acting at a point, which are concurrent forces, let's say A is the point at which they are concurring, so they can be calculated by the Lemmy's theorem, which says the force divided by angle between other two forces, which is sine of theta 2, remain constant, that ratio remains constant. So when you have to take F2, the sine of angle between, rather than F2, you have to take F1 and F3. F2. So in so between this, these two. Yes, sir. So sine of theta 3 equal to F3 divided by, if you are taking this force, the angle between F1 and F2 is important. So sine of theta 1. one. So this ratio remains constant. constant. That is nothing but your Lemmy's theorem. So it is also called as sine rule or Lemmy's theorem. Okay. And this is applicable only when there exist three, three forces. concurrent forces. Okay. So if we have to go for two concurrent forces, then law of parallel. Law of parallel. Three forces, then Lemmy's theorem. Okay. And more than three forces, then you have to go for right. resolution of the forces. Okay, Ravi Raj, it's been very fine that you have tried to explain what these Lemmy's theorem is. In fact, it's sine rule, which is there. We might have studied in 10th or 12th. Yes, sir. Okay, so the same sine rule, we are applying it over here. That's very nice. In fact, today, uh, gentlemen, we have tried and studied Lemmy's theorem and how you apply it to different, different forces. With these Lemmy's theorems, you can resolve any other different, when you find three forces in a coplanar surface, you are able to resolve them much faster. Today, Raviraj take, has taken some time in solving these particular problems. The main intention was you have to understand what things are there. But you have always two and a half minutes time from reading the question till answering that question. So try and solve all these problems within two and a half minutes time. So happy learning. Bye. Thank you.